at Minaterna in about 2005. So this would have been at about the right time uh, for this kind of flying monkey project to, to happen. Again, if I have UAV pilots um, bringing in all the material and smaller tanks and smaller uh, missile systems and so forth, uh, I don't need the piloting skills that you normally would. Takeoffs and landings are the hard part of flying. Um, and again, UAVs go straight up and straight down. Uh, again, the big problem with UAVs is, of course, um, the lift, the payload. And of course, with the MQ-9 Reaper and General Atomics, again, General Atomics' key uh, proving lab is at this Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. And the fact that there's another shooting at the other place where it's the largest build-out of a uh, General Atomics NQ-9 and MQ-1 Reaper airport, basically, which is at Fort Bliss, ties those things together for me. Again, you can accept the, the premise that two random shooters uh, shot everybody up with uh, wanton abandon within 24 hours, or you could look to the metadata, you can look to the connections, right? So we'll get a little bit of um, background here on uh, TASC. Uh, TASC, uh, this Minaterna is doing this uh, sort of space logistics, if you will, for TASC. You can see that TASC does analysis of space systems, architectures, and geospatial intelligence. But I can tell you specifically, um, this is in the area of logistics for uh, quick footprint. This is the quick footprint. This is the flying monkey project that they worked on, that, that Steve Betts worked on. You can see here that this company called Agility buys TASC. Lots of different companies acquire this sort of Nazi think tank, but TASC, truth be told, uh, is involved in all these major projects um, in our country's history with regard to missile systems in space. Okay, so you can see here Chantilly, Virginia. There's your connection to Peter Strzok. Um, and then you're going to go down a little bit further here and you're going to see their involvement uh, as sort of a think tank. But there's your Trident submarine, there's your Carter Page, there's your Minute, Minute Man missile, there's your Foster Freeze, there's your space shuttle. Of course, the, the space station also is going to be a big part of their program. And again, I believe Peter Strzok was involved in this company um, outside of, of Boston, Massachusetts. So we'll get to the connection, uh, Lisa Page being in Columbus, kind of running the operation from there, Mission Essentials, and then Peter Strzok being in Chantilly. We'll get to that in a little bit. But it, it, we do follow the blood uh, trail, unfortunately. It's one of those things that uh, in our story, uh, you, it's metadata like everything else. I don't like following blood trails, but sometimes they lead you right to the door. Uh, so here's uh, Northrop Grumman, and Northrop Grumman had this company for a long time, for about eight years. Again, during that key run-up period, um, when uh, Hillary Clinton's about ready to become the Secretary of State and affect all these uh, different projects. So we're going to look more into um, Minaterna, right? Uh, we picked it out yesterday. We're going to look into, obviously, the TASC more. We're going to look into the space uh, kind of flying monkeys, quick footprint idea, and see where who we might uh, engage. Nellis Air Force Base in uh, uh, Nevada comes to mind. If we wanted to bring in proxies, if we bring in proxies from other countries, we can run these things right here in the United States at Nellis Air Force Base in Nevada. Uh, you remember Bo Gritz bringing all the Mujahideen in there to do training uh, for Afghanistan. We could bring them into the same safe houses, the same barracks, if you will, and we can have them fly these UAVs. They can be Iranian pilots, they can be Pakistani pilots, they can be UAE pilots, they can be Saudi pilots. But we're going to get away from the problem that Donald Barr had. Donald Barr was trying to do these covert missions and so forth with OSS, and he needed the Jeff Epsteins, and as we have seen, the Jeff Epsteins, the pilots, are the weak link. And this is the, uh, the Nazi dream, if you will, in quick deployment, uh, a, a sort of a, blitz, a, blitz, a blitzkrieg combined with uh, the flying monkey concept where no humans involved at all. It's, it's a fully automated mech war blitzkrieg.